So what are some prime number and composite number activities that you might be able to do? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching College of Mathematics for over nine years. And here are some ideas as to what you can do to help students understand what prime numbers and composite numbers are. Now remember, just as a quick recap, prime numbers are those positive whole numbers, integers as we like to call them, whose only factors are one and itself, and composite numbers are those numbers who have more factors than one in itself. So here's a, some ideas as to how you can get some prime and composite number activities. Now one basic idea that you can definitely uh, think about is use a number table from 1 to 100. Just, you know, have all the, list all the numbers from 1 to 100 and then just ask the students um, if each number given is prime or composite or neither. Um, now, some prime numbers, of course, 2, 3, 5, and 7. Some composite numbers would be 4, 8, 12, etc. But basically, the first 100 numbers is a, provide a good foundation for understanding prime and composite numbers. If you like, you can put random numbers into a kind of like a math jeopardy category. If you have a prime and composite number category, just uh, give a number, like for example 36, and the proper answer would be the question, if you will, would be, what is composite? And then you can repeat that with uh, the other clues, if you like. So using Math Jeopardy would be a good idea, too, to figure out, determine prime and composite numbers. And lastly, you can also think about a factor tree game. So for example, if you have a, any number you want, have them build a tree, and if they find that they only end with two branches, then the number that they have is a prime number. So like, for example, if you have the number 11, the only branches from 11 are 1 and 11, so the tree ends. And so they'll know that number is an example of a prime number. But if you have a number like 12, where you have 2 times 6, for example, see that 6 can be broken down further into 2 times 3. So you have an example of number 12 as being a composite number. You can do a factor tree with any number, and again, as long as it ends at two branches, only two branches, um, it's that of a prime number. Other than that, it's a composite number. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there are some examples of prime and composite number activities.